and we are ready to go. This is going to be the final game of day one here at Lowney Stadium in Williamsport as the 64th Little League World Series underway and Japan is set to go against Mexico. Two high-powered Little League teams. day to say the least with some high-powered offenses and these two teams from Japan and Mexico well it's all about skill but listen they also have got some players who can drive in some runs just moments ago Puerto Rico came away with a win it would come over Germany and they too use the long ball Javier Valentin with the family in the stands and in the dugout had a two home run ball game a five RBI game for him and it would be the deciding home run, Joshua Sandoval, he got it. That came in the fourth inning. It would force the implementation of the 10-run rule, so a shortened game with Puerto Rico coming away with the victory. You take a look, now in pool C, it's Puerto Rico moving on. They will face the winner of this Japan-Mexico game, while the loser's bracket, it is now Germany, they will face the loser of this game in the double elimination 2010 Little League World Series. Hi everybody, I'm Gary Thorne and welcome. We have really been looking forward to this ball game tonight because these two teams generally come to the Little League World Series with some highly skilled players and they have met before recently. 2008, Japan was up two to nothing. Mexico, five runs in the third in the international championship game. Sergio Rodriguez delivered the big blow. That home run would put them back into it. And then it would be this Carlos Balboa hit that resulted in a 5-4 win. Many considered this an upset with Mexico coming away 5-4 and uh, Oral Hershiser, it may be different youngsters, but the programs remember. Yeah, they definitely remember. You know, there's a lot of tradition with these two countries and Mexico knows that to get through the international bracket, it usually goes through Chinese Taipei or Japan. Talk a little bit about the skill that we are going to see in this ball game as both of these teams will put their best both at the mound and at the plate here in this one. Yeah, Japan leading off. They've got a young man, and in February they played against in an exhibition game, but then his dad was transferred. He worked for the television station in Japan, NHK. But Natsuki Mizumachi is now with this local team, the team that has been back here in the last few years. Dick Skipper voted him. He rated Dice K 6 out of 10, with a 10 being the best. He rates this young man 8 out of 10. Now we've got to have someone to stop him, so we turn to the other side and take a look at pitching. Yeah, and pitching, batting third and pitching on the other side with Mexico. Enrique Peñaloza, this young man is big, he's strong, he's the class clown, one of the guys that keeps him laughing, but it's not going to be a laughing matter today because Mexico against Japan, it is very serious. Two cultures that look at this tradition and really want to win. And uh, earlier today, Adriana had an opportunity to meet with some of these youngsters as she's been doing all day. Let's check in with her. Thank you, Gary. We're here with Ivan and Norberto. They are from Team Mexico, but they speak a great English. You know why? Because they study every day. They cross the border to go to school at Laredo. So how was it? How's that experience? Kind of tired, but it's good because in this occasion, you could talk English with other people. You were telling me that you left your passport once. What happened? Well, I, I need to. I had. I, I thought. I thought I had it, but I needed to get back to her house to get the passport. But, but I. I went to school like at nine. <laughs> what about you? How was it your experience every day crossing the border to go to school? Oh, it was kind of tired. The same thing. 
I almost I always fall asleep in the car. And this one time, I that they ha we had a problem with our car, so they they took us out to research with the costumes, and so we we took there to an we took there an hour. So I got late at I got at 8:30. We, they were late to school, but we don't want them to be late at the game, so go by. Go by to your school. Good luck. Buena suerte. Yeah, yeah. A la orden. Back to you guys. <laughs> I think they are ready to go. I mentioned the uh, colors before. I'm telling you, you're going to love the colors we've got here for you tonight as the players' uniforms are bright, and so are the, the colors you're going to see in the stands. We're ready.